Hey guys, so recently Google put out an update on their blog talking about how they intend to handle AI in their search generative experience, which is their new barred labeled AI search results. Now I'm not going to talk too much about the beginning part of the post because honestly that's been covered to death on most tech blogs that just kind of parrot what it said. But the real thing that I wanted to talk about is they go on from there to list the ways that they have taken steps to ensure there is no bias in the information that their AI search experience provides. And on paper, that sounds good. That's what we're looking for. I'm skeptical of that just because as somebody who works professionally in the SEO space with search engines all the time, I have seen personally and have seen many other professionals talk about in their own videos, there is absolutely a bias in search results that are given and even in their own blog post, which I'll talk about in a minute, uh, where they're mentioning this, they even give you an example of the bias that is planned for part of this. So some simple examples uh, of where you see this bias. One of them that we can see every day doing any kind of search would be if you were looking for, say, firsthand opinions of the latest iPad, and you, that's what you typed into Google. Most of what you're going to see come up is Best Buy and Walmart and places to buy that iPad, even though you said first-hand opinions. And even if you put quotes around first-hand opinions to imply to Google, I want results that specifically use those words or have that in the title, it doesn't care. It won't give you many of those results. It is so biased toward shopping results and selling you things that it doesn't really show you blogs or forums and things unless you add the words blog or forum or Reddit to the end of your search. And that can help get you more results that are from Reddit or from somebody's blog, but it still heavily favors shopping sites that are going to sell you the thing, probably because most of these retailers are paying for ads to show up in those searches and the little e-commerce bar that goes across where it's showing you deals, I imagine they probably have to give some kind of a kickback to Google when they sell products out of that. And so there is financial incentive to skew search results towards shopping, even when that's pretty clearly not what a user is looking for. And Google is smart enough at this point with all of the years of data and studying phrasing and things, they know when you phrase it that way, what you're after with your search. So, you know, we can't really feign ignorance there. Um, there's definitely a bias toward that. There are also biases around controversial and social issues. I have to be careful with how I phrase this because YouTube is touchy. But let's just say when there's national news around gun violence uh, in education places or wherever, other SEOs have made videos noting that if you do searches for things like a shotgun microphone right after one of those events happens, it won't show up in any of those shopping results like it normally would because it has the word shotgun in it, which is a firearm. Of course, not in that context, because it's a type of microphone, but at least at that time, that was a couple of years ago, but they still do things like that to this day. There is a clear bias in that. And then it magically stops doing that like a week or two later after like the national sensitivity about it dies down a little bit, I guess, because they're afraid of triggering people with certain types of results. And I'm not here to make a judgment against whether that's good or bad. I'm just here to point out that it happens. There is a bias good or bad, in the way that it displays search results. And then even in this blog post that I'm talking about, they have a section where they say that they've taken steps to protect teens from sensitive topics in this search generative experience, where it will filter out results related to things like bullying or drugs or age-gated content that's for adults that they shouldn't be seeing. So obviously, in some ways of looking at it, that makes sense. Uh, and that's something that you want to do. But that is also a form of bias because you're essentially saying, I have search results I could show for the search query you just put in, but depending on who I'm talking to, I will or won't show that information. Well, that is by definition, like bias, depending on who is searching. It's also known in general on Google that if you're logged into your Google account while you do searches, all of the information Google has collected on you over the years about your interests and things can skew the types of search results that it shows you based on somebody else. Um, and so there's always bias in 
Google and search. And so it's a little weird for me when I read this blog post and they're going at such length talking about, oh, we've done all this stuff so that there won't be any bias in this AI. Plus, with what we've all seen in the last year or two with controversy around chat GPT, where there was clear bias in some cases politically and around celebrities and things with how it displayed information about someone but not somebody else. I would look at, you know, a Google Bard in this scenario and say, maybe, you know, you're constructed differently and it's not going to do that. But if the typical Google experience is any measure, I don't know that that's going to be the case. Other questions that I have about that, uh, when it comes to, they say, topics of bullying and topics of drugs, is it going to be smart enough to understand the context of a search? Uh... For instance, I remember when I was in school and we were in the D.A.R.E. program learning about drugs and drugs are bad and all that stuff, we were encouraged to do research papers and things at one point, and I had had to write a paper about the effects of certain drugs, and of course you have to research that. Uh, I'm dating myself a little bit here, but we were back in the days of AOL at that point, so I wasn't heavily using the internet for my information at that time, but kids growing up now in that scenario would absolutely be doing that, and there are legitimate reasons that you would be looking up that information or historical information that had to do with violence for a history paper or something like that, is it going to filter those results for a teen thinking they can't handle it or that it's inappropriate and actually interfere with a kid's ability to do legitimate research? I don't know. And they don't really elaborate in that blog post, so I guess we'll have to see. I'll post a follow-up video if they do elaborate uh, with some more information on that. But uh, also you kind of have to ask, like, how are they going to know? I mean, I guess you have to be signed into your Google account to use Bard, so theoretically you've had to enter a birth date, but what if it's the family computer and like somebody leaves their Google account logged in all the time and it's the dads or something and then everybody and all the kids use that computer? It's not really going to be an effective way to filter that kind of stuff. So I guess it remains to be seen how possible or effective this sort of planned bias in that regard even is. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of real talk about that for a minute. It's not something I've done a whole lot on this channel yet. A lot of it's been like tech product reviews and things, but I do want to weigh in on just general tech things like this as well. And like I said, I work professionally uh, in SEO, and so things related to Google are part of my day-to-day, -day, and so this just seemed relevant. It was on my mind as I read that, worth talking about. I would love to see other people's opinions on this, so uh, if you want to weigh in, throw it in the comments. I'd love to, to hear what you think about that, especially if you guys have used Google Bard uh, kind of extensively. How often do you use it? What sorts of searches have you done on it? Have you noticed any weirdness, any any kind of bias on it thus far? And you know, if you're comfortable to share examples, I'd be interested to see them. Otherwise, guys, that's about all I have to say on this topic for today. Hope you found this entertaining or helpful. If you have, please leave me a like, and otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one.